Here's my wire multiple floor lift with hydraulics. Just gonna get a 1000 HP ball here. They're pretty useful since it's not very stable. It sort of hurts me a lot. As you can see here, there's not very much wire. It's pretty simple. It hurts a bit. I don't know how to make the wire hydraulics less painful. It's going up pretty fast, so I'm assuming that's it, and I don't know how to slow them down. Uh, so it goes up and down using those buttons. And this button down here will bring it back down. Ta-da! Alright, so... Now let's make our own. I did make this. And the one that I'm about to make isn't gonna work, just telling you right now. But that's not because I did it wrong. There's just something. Hydraulics aren't very reliable a lot of the time. So first you're gonna go into PHX Journal Construction Props and spawn a 4x4x1 four by four by block. Freeze that, go to PHX Miscellaneous Props, and grab a staircase prop. Just one of the one of those one by ones and easy weld them together. Until you ask what I was thinking. Now go back to PHX General Until Construction Props. And spawn a four by four. Brave and tell the truth. Easy weld that to the top of the 4x4x1 brick And unfreeze it And I forgot to unweld it right here, but unweld it Spawn a 1x2 PHX plate and time to do the wiring. First thing you're gonna want to do is spawn a screen with only one value, use bigger font, um, and the floor or whatever other thing you want. That's gonna show the floor number. Now go to constant value or button. Actually, just go to button first, spawn two of them, make sure there's no toggle on. And then spawn a big one over here. Now pull out your constant value, get two values, one 100 and two one. Spawn that somewhere on your one by two. Alright, now I'm gonna go to gate arithmetic and spawn an add chip somewhere on your plate. Now spawn and another arithmetic gate. Divide. Then spawn another arithmetic gate. Increment slash decrement gate. Now let's wire. Why are the A and the increment decrement to the 100 on the constant value? The rush of being home rapid fading. Now why are the increment on the increment decrement gate to the button, the top button? Why are the decrement on the increment decrement gate to the bottom button? Oops. Alright, now let's wire up the at the divide gate. Wire the A on the divide gate to the increment decrement gate and the B on the divide gate to the constant value with 100. Then wire the A or B on the add, it doesn't matter, to the um, constant value of 1. Then wire the A or B, again, well, doesn't matter, to the divide. Stayed outside till two. 
Now wire the screen A to the end chip. And you're set with pretty much all the wirings. So, now let's start with the hydraulics. Oh yeah, let's put a user first. Make sure the user is pointing at the Break lower button. The are and now weld it to the 1x2 plate. Knowing and wire it to the lower Break button. The or not the lower button. The, the button on the block. Alright, you can make that invisible. Them. Whoops. We'll speak for her. Just freeze that there. You don't really need it yet. Now let's spawn our hydraulics. Go to wire. Hydraulics. Uh, forgot to tell you this right here. Make sure and check the fixed box. Spawn your controller anywhere. Just make sure that you spawn your hydraulics right in the corners there. Controllers. Wire the length on each one to the increment decrement. Freeze, unweld the plate if you forgot to. Well, that whoops, it sort of spazzed out there. But I was missing all that um, time all right, then push that button and it'll and go up. Before it'll go up with it, and then push that button and it'll go down. And just make sure that that button works too. Up, and that one breaks it down. Alright, so it works perfectly. Now let's just weld this to it to finish things up. Once again, this isn't going to work. Sometimes you have to do this over and over again. Just to make sure that it doesn't spaz out. Um, you can't really fix it. I think. You find out why mine spazzes out sometimes, then tell me please. Alright. Yeah, there it goes. Well, all the wirings are right. Um, just do what I said, and yours should come out fine. And if it comes out like this, you can just unweld the controller there. And it should still work the same way. It's good. Um, you might have to rebuild the whole platform thing though. Because it's not going to work. Um, one thing you can maybe do is make a prop that's not actually attached to it, but just like floating above it and weld it to that. Um, maybe because it's hitting it and it's welded to it at the same time, it's not really friendly. I don't know. But yeah, so enjoy your uh, level, your wire hydraulic lift with multiple levels. Using gates in case you don't like E1 and E2. And it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for watching.